Hi everybody, it's Carol Clark, your bariatric business coach, and I wanna to talk to you about a topic that no one really likes discussing, and that's vulnerability. I know we're supposed to be in charge, we're supposed to be the physicians or the administrators or the managers who are taking charge and making things happen, and we do that pretty darn well, but, Vulnerability is one of those things that many of us avoid because it comes along with many feelings such as grief or shame or a feeling of helplessness or hopelessness or just, you know, a really bad feeling that we think we can't figure something out or we're going to confess something that might make us vulnerable to others because we all like to belong and we wonder if people know this about me, then maybe they're not going to want to do business with me or they're not going to uh, want to work for me or something like that. But the reality is vulnerability. A lot of research has been done by it, particularly by Brene Brown. And vulnerability is actually a great opportunity for a lot of good things like empathy and love and caring and creativity and growth. And those are a lot of the things that we want to nurture in our offices. We want to nurture that with our employees. And so if there is a situation where you're feeling a little bit vulnerable, granted, you have to think that through in your own head, but if I'm having an issue and I can't quite figure it out, what I've found is when I make myself vulnerable and I meet with the staff and I say, you know, this is what's going on. You know, this is what's going on. Is it, you know, a marketing campaign that's not working? Is it uh, some, you know, lack of patient engagement? Is it a need for more patients? Is it a lack of follow through on collections? Is it just, you know, a lack of getting your marketing plan out there in a bigger way? Whatever the frustration is, I find if I make myself vulnerable and I actually share what the concern is with the staff, especially your key players, what ends up happening is they want to help. They want to help be a part of the solution. It jazzes them up. It makes them feel a part of the team. It also helps them buy into whatever the solution is to get past that problem. Together, you can always figure it out. Or if you're feeling vulnerable and it's not something you can involve your team in, then don't be afraid to ask for help because that's how you're going to get past whatever that hurdle is. So we want to avoid vulnerability and some of the negative feelings and fears that it creates in ourselves. But I want to encourage you when you have an issue the next time to think about exposing a little bit of vulnerability, whether it's with your staff or with your partners at work or your partner at home, to work through whatever it is or ask for help. I'm always here if you need help. Uh, I'm always happy to have just a uh, ear to listen or to offer some words of wisdom or advice or as much as I can. Uh, but anyhow, I really do care about practices out there and the physicians and the staff being happy and living a fulfilled life that you're doing what you love and making a difference in the world. So if you've got a situation going on, Try vulnerability for a change. Sometimes it can actually get you much, much farther than trying to act as if everything's okay and you've got this and you don't need any help and you don't admit anything to anybody. So I hope this served you well. I know it's a topic people don't like talking about. I'm not afraid to talk about it though because there's times when I'm vulnerable for sure. And I've found that it helps me to grow as a person, to grow as a professional, to grow within uh, this whole arena and help make me a better consultant, help make me a better person, and I encourage you to do the same. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a shout at carol, K-A-R-O-L, at weightlosspracticebuilder.com, uh, or reach out, go to my website, weightlosspracticebuilder.com. Tomorrow I am doing, tomorrow, which is, I probably shouldn't put a date on this, but it's July 31st of 2019, I'm actually doing a noon webinar for HealthWise on how to become a best-selling author, attract more patients and become the recognized expert in your field. So uh, I'll the link is out there pretty much all over the place and I've put it in emails to anyone who's on my list. And if you catch this video after the fact, I actually do have a really cool checklist to people, guide people through that process 
at yourbestsellerbook.com. You can get a checklist for that. So if you are so inclined, go ahead and, and uh, get your checklist. And in the meantime, like I say, don't be uh, afraid to reach out to me, Carol, K-A-R-O-L at Weight Loss Practice Builder. Continue doing the awesome things you're doing for your practices, for your healthcare institutions, for your patients most of all. And I hope you have a great day or evening, depending on what time it is when you're listening to this. Take care. Bye.